Please join me in welcoming Leslie Rubin Foster. subject transformation. The main character of my book struggled with becoming Elvis, or the nearest facsimile he could. And this is a little bit about the beginning of my struggle to become something like a runner. So, um, here we go. My mother died at a dance. A Saturday before Thanksgiving, a club called the Palisades, a headache she couldn't shake. She left the dance floor and joined her friends, applied her frosted fingernails to the mysteries of a Tylenol bottle, excused herself a moment. Gone a long time. Her friend Lois found her in a ladies' room stall, holding her head, insisting she was fine. In the ambulance, she lost consciousness. Three in the morning, when my brother came upon her, in an emergency room cubicle, one of her pupils was fixed, cerebral hemorrhage and full wide. Her hyacinth, hyacinth eyeshadow perfect. What a pretty lady, they were say. Her death came at the end of a three-year period during which I lost almost everything I knew. After 18 years, my marriage ended. A week after I signed the divorce papers, my father collapsed on the front porch of my childhood home while doing work and died a day later of subarachnoid hemorrhage. A year and a half later, my mother. A new man promised me that I could trust him. He was incorrect. My brother suffered a serious illness that for a long time no doctor could diagnose. My world became a life forsaken place. In public, I behaved, behaved as if nothing had changed. Inside my head, I wandered the luckless streets of an empty city looking for an address, or a face, or a feeling I recognized. In the weeks after my mother's death, I lay in bed night after night and framed an equation that glistened with all the self-pity of the holidays. Both my mother and my father died at 71. Both died of a damn burst of blood to the brain. Both died in the same hospital, in the same intensive care unit, with no warning in the middle of living their lives. I did not. The month after my mother's death, I turned 48. Assuming I shared my parents' lifespan, I had 23 years. 23 years. One of those nights, my television offered a 1940s gangster picture called Johnny Eagle. You'll wake up dead one of these days, Robert Taylor tells Van Heflin. And Van Heflin corrugates his enormous forehead and replies, everybody does, sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> 